call the uh, the county council meeting to order, making note that we do have caucus with one absence. Uh, we'll start out by pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> We have two sets of minutes to approve. I move we approve the uh, uh, regular meeting minutes as written. I'll second. All right, I move we approve the special meeting minutes. I'll second it. We have uh, two motions and second. Any discussion? Those all in favor, second by the right hand. I need to abstain from the special meeting minutes, please. You might need to abstain from the first regular meeting. Okay, we're going to open a portion of the public hearing notice for a meeting. You want to bring uh, for the council a tax abatement on behalf of PDQ uh, work holding. Uh, they, they have a uh, $1,026,000 worth of personal property improvements, majority of which were in place and operational prior to approval of this SB1 form. So that's why the uh, waiver of noncompliance and an opportunity for the public to, uh, to speak on about this project is required. So uh, once the public hearing is closed, then uh, start discussing the the waiver of noncompliance. But uh, through this uh, majority, like I said, majority of these improvements are operational already, but they're in this tax abatement are some improvements for 2013 or 2012. I apologize. And uh, the uh, company is also looking to hire an additional five employees throughout 2012. Answer any questions uh, prior to the public hearing? Couple updates. Where's this building located? This, the PDQ building is located at, hold on, let's see. Who used to be in it? Uh, White. Oh, White. PRC. The, the address of the building is uh, uh, 1100 South Williams Drive. The commissioners toured this building last spring. It's very, it's very interesting very interesting business. So that is in, in this packet there is a, a list of all the uh, all the personal property improvements and the uh, the dates that they became operational. And uh, we're seeking a, a ten year abatement for the entire one million twenty six thousand dollars worth of personal property improvements. Several members sitting. Are there anybody within the uh, audience and county council that have any comments from the public? Any comments from members of council? So we're going back. Am I understanding this correctly? That we're going back to 2011, <clears throat> January 1st. Yeah, we're going back. Uh, the waiver of non-compliance uh, to capture these uh, these improvements because they are were <coughs> operational prior to uh, today's date. So, yes. And why weren't they requested more time on? Uh, just uh, I guess the the business has been uh, was was new here recently, and all the improvements they've been making, they must have uh, uh, just put things in operation prior to uh, uh, realizing that they hadn't had an SB one uh, for those improvements. And what, Jennifer, as far as the tax side, what does this do um, as far as the taxes? It's starting to sell 11, pay 12, or, and actually it'll be 12, pay 13, and... Okay, so it won't have it in the impact on this. And the existing <coughs> one has, but you have an existing abatement already, but this whole... Okay. Do we have any resolution numbers? 
2012-04 is the resolution granting a waiver for non-compliance. 2012-05 is the resolution approving the deduction of assessed value for the 10 year on an ERA. And the uh, redevelopment did sign this morning. What was the number for redevelopment? Zero three. of waiver. I'll make the motion that we approve the waiver of compliance. Second. Any additional discussion by council? Those in favor signifying by raising right hand. And resolution for abatement, which is zero five. That's a 10 year, correct? Yes. Those in favor of signifying by raising your right hand? Those the same. 